Welcome back everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make a day-night cycle in GB Studio. Uh, as you can see it's night time now um, and you can uh, keep moving and the time goes up and then it's daytime. Uh, this is very simple but it does require a bit of uh, preparation before you can uh, pull it off. Um, but I'll just get straight into it. Okay, so I'm starting in the scene we made last video where the the player can move two tiles by two tiles. Um, but I've simplified the background artwork so that it's all one color. Um, and obviously you can do this with uh, obviously up to six different palettes, but it's uh, using one palette. That's what I meant. It's using one single palette so that uh, I can easily show you how you can do this. So. Uh, First of all, I'm going to make it so every time the player moves, it increases the the time variable by one. So you have to make a variable, call it time, and uh, increase it by one every time it moves. So obviously, make sure you have a variable, a global one, call it time, uh, and then you can add a value of one to it every time it moves. So I'm going to put this move, uh, add this increasing value thing to each of the movements so that every time the player moves the time increases by one um, I'm not going to display it if you want to see how you can display uh, uh, variables I have a video on that already um, but I'm just going to keep it very simple and then what I'm going to do is actually I might have to have something because there needs to be something that keeps track of everything uh, and in normal game development, you'd call this, uh, you know, like a character controller or just a controller or a game manager. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to pin this to the screen so that at all times we have a, an actor that can have an update script. So what we're going to do is, knowing that the the time increases every uh, every uh, time we move, we can we can first of all put a clamp on that. So how how often do we want the the day night cycle to happen right so we could put it to 100 but then that'd be hard to test but we could also put it to 10 so we want a we kind of want an if statement or comparing the value if time is greater than uh let's say 10 then we want to set the the math function of time to back to zero um, so that the day you know comes back around and uh, we can disable the else and what we want to do is we now this is where the palette switching comes in is uh, I'm gonna have it so that when the time reaches five the palette switches and then when the time is zero again it goes back to daytime so every five hours, the basically the it, it's a day-night cycle, but obviously it's not hours; it's movements that you make in game. And you could technically have this set to a timer, but this is a very simple way of doing it very quickly that you have control of it. So if the time, if uh, yeah, so we basically want to do the same thing. We want to do if the variable I compare with value, and if it's time is equal to zero then we want to set the palette um, set palette set palette background um, let's just check which one I'm using uh, I'm using the fourth one and it's called main road special day okay the fourth one so you'd kind of don't want to modify everything else that you don't want to modify obviously um, and then we want to put this to I think that's the one I'm using uh, if it's not then that will be <laughs> that would now be our main uh, palette and we also want to set it to I'll just copy this and I'll put if the time is greater than five then we can we now need to make the palette for this um, and obviously I've already done this, so I can just choose it, but I'll show you how I would make it. So first of all, 
I'm just going to take a screenshot of the level map so that we have all of the colors here. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring it into GIMP. And I've made a video uh, about GIMP before. But what we want to do is paste the screenshot uh, so that we now have, we can now see the, you know, the map on screen. And now we can now edit the colors, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this layer first, and I'm just going to make, get a nice deep dark blue. And I'm going to fill this with it. And now I can decrease the opacity of it. And if you can, if you can already tell, it already looks a bit like nighttime. So if I put merge, obviously, if you're using Photoshop or something, these might even be might work even better. Uh, but this is just simply how I do it. Obviously, the darker it is, the more nighttime it is. Uh, so I might want to also decrease the black. Yeah, there we go. So I think that's very nighttime-ish. And now what we're going to do is we're going to color pick. So I use the pen tool or the pencil tool and we can just take the lightest color, which we know is this. And now we can see we're given this this uh, value here, 7A679C. So I'll just copy that and we'll hop back over into, um, into GB Studio. And what we'll do is go into the palettes. And then we can just create a new palette and we can call it nighttime. And obviously the more palettes you have, the more palettes you need to ch switch when you uh, do this thing. So nighttime and just put this one to this. And I'll, I'll do this off, off screen so uh, I'm not wasting your time. I'm just going to color pick all the other colors. As you can see, they're all very blue. Uh, so I've just filled them all in. And now we, when in the in that update script uh, that we have in the corner, we can now set this to that one we just made called nighttime. So now if we press play, we should see that we have something. So every time we move, that increases that value by one. And when we reach five, it should switch to nighttime. There we go. Uh, and obviously, I did think it looked very blue, but it still looks like nighttime. It looks almost exactly like it did uh, with the overlay on it in the game, uh, in the in GIMP. Sorry. So obviously, one thing that's missing is your your character didn't update, uh, and arguably you might not want it to. Uh, but if you if you were going to do it, you'd just do it the same way. Just up, update the palette, and uh, and uh, ch switch it when you switch the the background palette. Obviously, it changes back to night. I mean, daytime and nighttime, daytime, nighttime, daytime, nighttime, and technically, you could have in between. Um, you know, if it when it gets to six, you could have it. At a, you know, a less blue. You know, you have you can build up to it so that um, as night comes in, the night is uh, darker and darker, which might be a really uh, good look. I might do that in the game as well. Uh, but yeah, there we have it, guys. That is how you make a day-night cycle in GB Studio. If you found this useful, please uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, tell me what you want to see next. Um, and I'll be looking forward to hearing from you in the comments. Thanks for watching.